Have you had chance to kind of stop and reflect and on terms in terms of the season? What's what's your overriding feeling? I think it's been a really exciting season, right up to the the last minutes of the of the last day, especially when we are fighting for the Premier League. So um, yeah, I think we should be very proud of what we've done throughout the season, both in European competition and the Premier League, but as well that feeling of being disappointed and not having. The Premier League in our hands is uh, it is painful still. How personally do you take that in terms of missing out? I'm a winner, and yeah. uh, and it takes me a while when when I don't reach uh, the dreams. And I think we have built so much excitement as well and, and believe around our fans and around the players, around the club, that we really wanted to deliver that moment to them. I think they deserve it. I think the team deserve it. But. Uh, Listen, you have to congratulate Man City. At the end, after 38 games, they had two points more than us, and um, and they are the winners. Do you have any regrets? No regrets. You look at moments in the season, yeah. uh, but the season has been almost perfect uh, to make the amount of points that we made, uh, both us and City, in this competitive league. We cannot compare this league what happened two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, those numbers. It won't happen. Uh, the level of the league is... Uh, it's a different um, stage now, and um, and yeah, now recharge, try to be stronger, think where the margins are, and, and go again next season. And do you think the best chance of beating City is them dropping their level, or can you better them? We have to better them. We are closer. When you see all the metrics, we are right there. We've been the best team in the league um, in almost every every metric but there is a margin there that somehow we didn't control well enough and um, and the league is gone and that's the level so it is inspiring as well it's very challenging but it's very inspiring to have a team with such a quality and such a consistency over the last seven nine years um, to try to be better than them and our focus is is how we can improve so what is the strategy Look again, all the margins, the squad-wise, uh, in all the processes that we have at the football club, in our methodology, especially how we can make our, our players better, you know, more competitive, more consistent, and coach them to, to, to raise the level and, um, and be better than, than the previous season. Does it involve new players? Kylian Mbappe is coming this evening. Is he on your, <laughs> is he on your list to tap up? <laughs> For sure, but uh, that's an unknown. What is going to happen, what is going to be new? I think our focus has to be in, in basically with what we have already in-house, how can we be better? And, uh, and there are margins and, and there are players that can still develop and, and be better. And, uh, and that's the, the objective that we have. Have you exchanged any messages with Pep? since the end of the season? Yeah, for sure. I congratulate him, all the staff. Uh, at the end, they deserve it. They were the winners. We keep chasing it and, and trying to be better than them. But, but that's something else. One is the professional relationship and that competition. And then it's obviously all the personal uh, feelings that I have towards him and all the staff. I spent four beautiful years over there and, uh, and that's never going to change. But you call it unfinished business. So is next year the year? Ah, we're going to try again, that's for sure. And uh, everything, every decision we're going to make is, is to be better. Um, without losing who we are and everything that is taking us in the position that we are now as a football club, as a team. But uh, yeah, the ambition is there. I, the players, the staff, you can sense it. They want much more. Uh, they want to start lifting trophies and, and that's the next step. Can you see yourself staying at Arsenal long term? You've got, you've got this one year mm. left on your contract. Is it all about next year or are you thinking longer term than that? Now, in, in football, it's about today and what we're going to do today and what you hopefully can do tomorrow. And this, this profession and, and I think having this uncertainty, I think is quite helpful. At least it motivates me, keeps me my toes and it keeps me hungry uh, to go again. I think we have a, a great relationship with everybody at the football club. I'm really happy where I am and uh, things will take care of themselves.